I'm sitting here in this V8 powered monstrosity kind of reflecting on the news of there's an electric Hummer coming out it's pretty wild and hard to believe 1,000 horsepower 11,500 foot pounds of torque at 0 RPM 0 to 60 is 3 seconds flat um, I'm hoping they don't botch the styling and they keep it really masculine but we'll see GM seems to be on a bit of a hit or miss with some things. I think the new Cadillacs look great. I think some of the new GMCs not so much, but the new pickup trucks look really good. The new Denali looks really good. So, I mean, again, I feel like it's kind of a hit or miss whether the design department kind of gets their way or not. I feel like the only way that the, G the GMC Hummer EV is going to be successful is if they are first to market. Um, the Ryko Rev... Rivion, I don't know, whatever the electric truck that Ford invested in, seems like it'll be first truck to market. If it gets postponed and the Hummer can come out first, I think that would be its really only claim to fame, and I think that would give it kind of the edge it needs to get the, the brand name rolling again. But, and I know people are going to sit there and go, oh, but it's not this and it's not that and the Hummer and blah, 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 blah. I love my V8, but filling it up doesn't ever make me feel good. Every time you roll into the gas station and it's another, you know, 60, 70, 80 bucks, it's like, well, you know, it's part of owning a V8. I do get to have more fun in town and I do get to be a bit of a hoon on the highways, but you pay for every single ounce of enjoyment you get. Could I live with an EV? Absolutely. Would I love to own one today? Absolutely. But funds, garage space, lifestyle everything is kind of limited to evs being more of a luxury item rather than just something you can buy and have if you would like so i'm waiting for the prices to come down um i'm thinking the hummer is probably going to be more like the h3 size i don't think they're going to quite commit to the h2 or the h1 being just absolutely obnoxiously huge i think they're going to go for more of like a a boxed out compact suv uh trying to keep it kind of guess in the swinging ballpark of the new mustang uh, electric but boxy rather than be all elegant and smooth that everything seems to be going for so it's gonna be really interesting I'm pretty excited to see I'm glad that they're bringing the Hummer name back and I'm glad they're doing something different with it um, and again it's really gonna be a guessing game first to market is gonna have a huge advantage Tesla's always gonna be Tesla and then everything else will either be not a Tesla or was first to market so we'll see Time will tell. Till next time, drive safe, take care, and behave as always.